हेलो एवरी वन एंड आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू ए कम्प्लीट प्लेसमेंट सोल्यूशन दिस इज प्रतीक श्रोस्तर फाउंडर ऑफ ऑनलाइन स्टडी फॉर यू फ्रेंड्स एज यू आर अवेयर टी सी एस हैज कंडक्टेड फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ एन क्यू टी एग्जाम ऑन फिफ्टींथ ऑफ मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड ए लार्ज नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स वेर एबल टू राइट द एग्जामिनेशन नाउ फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन थ्री डिफरेंट थिंग सो after you wrote the exam definitely everybody is looking for when the result will be announced so we will discuss on the expected result date see friends whatever date we will expect here so the result will be announced very near to that so based on the previous data we will try to analyze second thing many of the students faced compiler issue so is tcs going to consider reexamination the third thing friends what about the second phase exam when it might happen when you will start getting the admit card before we move ahead friends with all the data which i am going to talk okay so please do subscribe to the youtube channel so that you don't miss any kind of update any preparation videos any hiring videos and also don't forget to like the video now the first thing sir when the result will be announced i could see many of the students have started asking this sir when the result will be announced so like how tcs is conducting tcs free nqt 2025 free nqt means you have not paid any amount for this similar way tcs has also conducted free nqt in 2024 correct okay now so in 2024 the exam was conducted between 26th of april okay till 7th of may till 7th of may 2024 okay you can see this is the the you know things which we have taken from screenshots we have taken from our youtube channel so tcs nqt questions asked on 26th of april 2024 okay first shift second shift then it was exam was conducted on 29th of april then exam was conducted on 6th of may okay so this is how and the last exam was conducted on 7th of may okay and when the result was declared tcs result declared tcs sending mail which slot status batch remaining student so this 28th of may so if you will try to see friends 26 to 28th of may right so it was you can say almost a month tcs takes to release the result okay because it will be happening in phases but it is not fixed but you cannot say it is fixed okay so we will be also expecting our result around 10th to 15th of march okay that is one thing and now tcs also conducted recently tcs free nqt exam for 2025 batch on campus so that was off campus and now on campus tcs recently conducted the exam and there you could see the exam was on the exam was on 3rd of october okay the exam 3rd of october and then 4th of october then 5th of october then 6th of october and the result was announced on october 28 so here you could see there was a gap of almost 20 two days so we will be also expecting that our result will be announced somewhere around 10 to 15th of march this is expected date this might be wrong also because again there are people who will take my statement and will make a video and they will think that okay so they can get some benefit or views from there i am totally fine with that okay so this is one expected date so this and based on the data i am telling you because these are the videos which we have published on our platform and this from there only we are able to get that okay fine this is clear so expected result date you should not have any doubt now second thing is friends so when tcs will be releasing admit card for the second shift that is right also okay so because first shift is conducted on 15th of march after that there is no such information okay fine so one thing before i before we talk about the shift date friends i received a mail today that i have not put the name there sir i recently discovered that my tcs nqt admit card email was delivered to my spam folder and unfortunately i did not notice in time as a result i missed my scheduled exam on march 15 2025 
is there any possible way to attend my exam see it's very difficult to get the exam rescheduled by tcas but anyway what you can do so if there is uh, one of the student so he was not able to attempt the exam because he reached late to the center so in that case you can send an email to tcs okay email to tcs that explore email id is there you can search on google and also they have some toll free number to contact them today is sunday tomorrow you can try so you can just try your level best to see if this can be rescheduled but there is no other way where you can do this and for the other students those who have not written the exam but yeah, spam folder, subse other spam scam are happening. So more number of spam and scam is happening. So keep checking your spam folder, okay? So that you don't land in this kind of situations, okay? Fine. Now, friends, what about the next date? There is no clarity from TCS. There is no clarity from TCS, and every time, so at least three days before, you will be getting your admit card. So today is 16th and what I could feel is maybe your next exam can be on Saturday, Sunday. That is the expectations because right now nothing has been told by TCS. So let us assume that your exam, you know, uh, today, if tomorrow also, if they start sending 17th, if you get then 20. Okay. So next weekend uh, or weekdays will be when. So after 20, uh, you can assume like 21st, 22nd, anytime your exam might happen correct okay so see generally right uh, because it is off campus so generally they do it on weekends but they, they can they might do it on weekdays also we don't exactly know okay and we don't exactly know what ECS is going to do so keeping in mind that TK by so from 20 March of onwards anytime the exam might be conducted so please be ready for that okay and you can see from the previous data they won't stretch for very long so within 22 to 25 days, your all exams will generally get covered. Okay. So this will also give you an idea. Okay. Next thing. Next thing is friends, many other student are uh, definitely faced this compiler issue. And this was one of the LinkedIn post, which I was going through uh, where I was mentioned. Sir, aptitude round, numerical reasoning, verbal and advanced aptitude and reasoning, always surprisingly easy with no major challenges, coding round. Two coding questions, incredibly easy. A kid with basic math skill could solve both in under 15 minutes. But here comes with the twist. I'm not totally agree with this uh, coding round. You know, it was very easy. A kid with basic maths. Because I was really not able to understand uh, the coding question. So here comes, definitely you should have some knowledge. Because these coding questions were asked from greedy algorithm. Okay. This uh, and uh, today I was just talking to, you know, uh, someone. And then uh, I just a minute, I will tell you. So one coding question was where, where is he? So I was told that uh, DP plus bit masking question, dynamic programming plus bit masking questions were also there. So this is like, I'm not little convinced with that. But one thing TCS definitely is wrong here. And TCS has not even checked the system or the keyboards or you know the their platform completely there are a lot of compiler issue even in one of the incident okay so few of the incident not one of the incident so what a student have done at the center so suppose you are in first shift so they change this they removed this one okay that and they put it here they removed this they put it here so they have changed the keyboard they have changed the keyboard such a stupid people also exist okay so that is one thing they should at least they should provide with the new keyboards where it is not easy to take the keys out but if you'll see the old you know keyboards or maybe the keyboards might have been you know very old or faulty so where you can easily take the keyboard and put it from here to there so that is one incident so here he has mentioned uh where he has mentioned uh so many candidates faced uh faulty so many candidates uh, faced faulty keyboards, mouse, and even PC shutdown. Now I really wanted to ask TCS, don't you have a good developer who can develop, right? See, you are hiring candidates for prime, you are hiring candidates for digital. So don't you have a good candidate who can develop a, uh, you know, the better platform where a student do not face this. It's not only this year it has happened. So don't think it has happened for 2025 batch. 
so even in 2024 batch also there was compiler issue 2023 batch also at least you can outsource right at least you can outsource and you can get this problem solved where everybody is pointing finger on you only with respect to this compiler issue and it is going from long back see tcs is one of the company which is uh, reputed and trustworthy everything is there but only because of this thing there is there are people who will be definitely pointing out and even i will point out and i will question tcs that please if you are not able to do that let please tell me i will we i will help you to hire one good developer who can build a very good platform where the compiler does not throw simply i mean does not simply throw the error okay see if it is one student we can understand two student understand 10 students we can understand but there are hundred or thousand of students those who have faced the compiler issue but anyway normalization will be there you do not have to worry see uh indentation o's python uses beer okay tabs no use spaces one by one otherwise say hello to unexpected indentation errors where is my output my the main screen shows everything except your code output you need to manually full screen and test cases to check it biggest issue input test case is not working even a sing, simple map int input split fails sometimes so this i have heard from other students also luckily i knew about sys dot std in dot read to bypass this mess defective systems at the offline center okay so this was one genuine feedback which was written by the student and i fully agree to that and tcs is question lever here and we have to question tcs okay fine so here i have already mentioned so many of you face the compiler issue and it is not the first time it is very tough to get the exam scheduled by tcs so now tcs if you think that okay so the exam re-exam re will be considered by tcs that will not happen okay cutoff will be always normalized so please do not worry now tcs also knows that there is a mistake and this will definitely reach to them please put on linkedin i am also going to put on linkedin post okay so please support there in the linkedin post so definitely they have to do something if they don't want to reconsider the exam because this is very tough see how much money they are investing uh, in conducting the examination one complete center where you are writing the examination so all over the india they are paying for the centers okay they are paying for the invigilators okay they are paying for the systems whatever if a lot of expenditure okay admit card there you know a lot of things are going on so they are spending a lot and now conducting the exam again will be tough now please focus on your interview another examination that now forget about that see compiler was really bad my code 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 was not working even when it was correct okay See, I have solved 300 plus lead code question, but I cannot run a single test case in NQT. I know how to approach the problem and write correct code, but every time the compiler throws new errors, I suggest not using Java for solving NQT problem because multiple functions like a split do not work properly and import Java util does not import all packages. Instead, you have to import a specific classes like import java.util.scanner. It is better to use Python instead of Java. Python people are telling better to use Java. Java people is telling better to use Python. Or somebody is telling better to use C++. So all these things were there. I came across many comments that said scanner and split was not working in Java. It, is it true? Because as far as I remember the last time I appeared for NQT and it worked for me. Lucky. So you are lucky. Definitely mega. But this year like a lot of people are facing. So uh, now definitely there is, a, uh, there is a question which we can ask from TCS. And they, at least there should be. Uh, knowing that okay so there was a compiler issue which has happened during the examination and they have to rectify it today or tomorrow so that linkedin post uh, i will i'll put a linkedin post and that link will be there in the video description so please support this okay and friends last not the list so I, I wanted to talk about the interview please take the interview very very seriously so i know uh nitin one of our student was qualified for tcs nqt prime and after interview he did not even get ninja that means he was rejected so friends don't get into very much overconfidence that you know you have solved this many test cases you will get digital and prime after that you know you will at least get ninja no so if your interview doesn't go well you will be rejected and you will get nothing in tcs tcs interview is not normal for everyone they ask to write coding questions and deep concept on codes will be involved take the interview very very seriously now there are a few factors which you need to consider friends communication skill so you know see communication skill i personally 
think in two ways even my communication skill is not very good okay so one is your communication skill is very good and you are communicating everything very effectively second thing is your communication skill is average okay or say may not be very good okay but you are able to convey the things see i am able to convey the things to you you are able to connect with me that's what is required you you do not have to be very fluent you do not have to be grammatically very much correct till then you are able to convey till then you are able to convince to the interviewer that's all your thing is done but you should be able to speak continuously okay so if you are telling something you, you should be able to speak continuously you should be able to convey the things you should be able to break the things in a smaller smaller chunks and then you should be able to tell to the interviewer communication skill is very very impo important confidence when you are explaining something and if you do not have confidence then it's of no use so you have to build the confidence that confidence will come only with the mock interview you have to prepare very well for the self introduction self introduction is everything for an interview technical questions will be there deep technical questions will be asked in digital and prime coding questions will be asked you will have to write the code so maybe whatever codes you have got in the written test please practice that very well at home because many of them had got that coding questions uh, you know to write or to explain the logic in the interview and friends 400 rupees is equals to package 3.3 lpa 7 lpa 9 lpa what is that that i will tell you so online study for you always comes with something you know online study for you always comes with something which will fulfill your requirement where mock interviews okay common live mock interviews videos pdfs okay the previous interview experiences so these are the things which is required to crack the interview and i know many other student thinks why why should we waste 400 rupees see this 400 rupees is helping you to get a package of 3.3 lpa 7 lpa or 9 lpa and always the content speaks see i will not speak you will not speak somebody else will not speak your content will speak okay so technical interview questions 16 videos are there interview live classes mock interviews 43 videos are there in that see if you go topic wise we have covered the interview questions live mock interview sessions are there you might be thinking sir let the result come let the result come then we will prepare for the interview you will get four to five days for preparing for the interview and if you get rejected from the interview there is no point of putting so much interview uh, effort in the written test subject wide interview preparation okay python videos for 2025 interviews java dsa question for digital prime and tcs uh, you know the uh, previous year interview questions and there is one uh, seat is also there so that seat also you will be getting where everything is pdfs so where everything is sorted right so lot of things which we have covered so it might be that one yeah so here you see so tcs interview guidance 2024 pdf tcs prime interview experiences tcs 2024 latest experiences tcs nqt comprehensive interview material tcs 2024 python questions tcs nqt interview experiences so these many things you are going to get now in 400 rupees who will give you this much here nobody will give you this much okay and this is going to decide your package for 3.3 lpa or 7 lpa or 9 lpa the link is given in description and that's all i wanted to show you thank you take care all the very very best i'll be coming with up more and more videos which is required for you take care all the very very best